I asked the question and it took almost 19 minutes before it was answered. Now you might be wondering what is the question that I asked that it took it almost 20 minutes to answer. Well, if you recall this paper that recently Apple released, The Illusion of Thinking, I'm sure you've heard about it at this point, it kind of went viral. But in it, they gave various reasoning models for types of tests. One was the Tower of Hanoi, where you're supposed to move these discs one at a time and there's certain rules in how you can move them. But the point is you want to replicate this tower. It starts on the left. You want to rec replicate it on the right. And the more discs there are, the harder it is because the more steps you have to take. So here's a 10 disc Tower of Hanoi. And let's see, this will take over a thousand steps to complete, I believe, a thousand and twenty four steps. It's very, very complicated. I don't know how this person is doing it, but basically he does it in, what is this, just under seven minutes? So this 10 disc Tower of Hanoi problem was one of the problems that was presented to these reasoning models and they failed to answer correctly. As you can see here, for, for most of these, once they get to, you know, kind of into the difficult zone, most of them are close to 0% accuracy. As we covered in the, in the previous video, we, there's a lot of issues with this paper. Specifically, it's not that the models can't reason about it, it's that we're probably running into context length issues. But in the paper, they actually gave the exact prompts that they've used in order to test the models. So here's that prompt and I just copy and pasted it over into the new O3 Pro and we're using the 10 disk version. We thought about it for 19 minutes, figured out that, you know, the optimal solution uses 1,023 moves and, you know, put the moves out in a sequence here. And I checked the first few moves and I checked the, the last few moves, it seems to check out. This is the correct answer, right? A total of 1,023 moves. It ends with the move where you place the final piece and it's on peg two. The researchers said that the positions are zero indexed, meaning that the first peg is zero, the middle peg is one, and the right peg is two. So the O3 Pro one-shotted that problem on, on this paper, therefore kind of shattering the illusion of a thinking, if you will.